I've been crashing a bobsled at 90 miles an hour. I've hit hurdles. I've had hamstring injury, spine surgery, and nothing was more terrifying than starting to even look up the process of egg freezing. Lolo Jones is one of the few women who's competed in both the winter and summer Olympic games. Heartbreakingly missing out on Olympic medals. Lolo Jones hit the hurdle and did not get a medal. But now she's setting her sights on a new prize. I really want a family. I've waited for my husband for so many years. Why do you think being a mom has been such a big goal of yours? Being a a good mom is very difficult, especially in today's society. It has me nervous, like, do I have the capabilities, the skill set to care for someone, you know? And But I, I'd like a chance. You want to be a mom? I want to be a mom, yeah. Earlier this month, as her 40th birthday loomed, Lolo candidly sharing her anguish with half a million followers on Instagram. I'm about to turn 40. There's a lot of stress on me right now. It was reaching to the point where I'm like going on these dates and I'm like, oh, do I like we don't really click. We don't really vibe. But like, do I settle just for the sake of trying to have a kid? You were willing to settle for less because you thought you were running out of time. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's just and it's it's really hard when you hit 40. Lolo took a step to give herself more time, sharing with her followers that she was freezing her eggs. It's one thing to do this privately. What made you want to share it? So <laughs> I know. Why did I decide to share this? Because I wish someone had shared this with me years ago. I honestly, I'm on the brink of waiting too late. And so if you had that chance to go back in time and talk to your younger self, what would you say? I would scream at that younger self. Do it when you're 25. Do it before you hit 30. Lolo now hoping to help others harness their fertility. A simple blood test can tell you your fertility levels. And why did I wait years to do that? Why? When you talk about approaching 40 or being over the age of 35, I want to be crystal clear in terms of gynecology and obstetrics, women's best eggs are in their early 20s. What elective egg freezing does is it dramatically expands uh, the decades or time period by which a woman can have her biological child. Egg freezing involves removing eggs from a woman's ovaries that can later be used for in vitro fertilization or IVF. I would put this needle on top and then I would inject it basically either on the left or right. I would rotate mm -hmm. and then that first injection was kind of startling. It was intense. It was intense. That's a good was... word. I definitely did that wrong. My hand was shaking. I got the needle like halfway in. The medicine, like, it was a nightmare. Rally up! She showed us how for 11 days she repeated this process, all to prepare for her egg retrieval. Since 2009, the amount of women freezing their eggs in the U.S. each year has gone up over 3,000 percent. But all of this gets expensive. One round of egg freezing can cost around $10,000. But increasingly, employers are helping foot the bill. One in five big companies include egg freezing in their insurance coverage. Egg freezing may not feel accessible to everyone, but information and kind of that empowering conversation about egg freezing I, I would argue is exceptionally accessible and, and needs to happen more. Dr. Neil Chappell has been taking Lolo through this intense process. How did Lolo first come to you and what were her goals? We talked about how many kids she wanted. She is not currently with a partner, but she does want the opportunity for future children. And at the time she was 39. And so we knew that she was approaching another one of those soft landmarks, one of those little steeper declines in the hill. Lolo joining a chorus of celebrities that have spoken publicly about their fertility journeys. Any time a public figure shares any part of a mental or physical issue publicly, it does so much good for people's awareness, people's education, for destigmatizing certain conditions. Why do women carry so much baggage around this? Even as I started to hit 35, I'd go on dates with guys and they would be like, well, are you even fertile? So there's just such a stigma on older women that they have no fertility, that they're worthless. Online, Lolo's vulnerability has received some fierce backlash. Fellas, she ain't worth it. Don't feel sorry for her. 
this is a bad investment. What do you say to these folks? If they're already coming at you with that, they have no baseline of the truth at all. But many women see their own stories reflected in Lolo's. When I saw Lolo Jones and her journey and what she was going through, it completely reminded me of my own journey. We first met Deirdre Diener in 2019. You wrote that you woke up at 42 and suddenly the dream of motherhood had slipped through your fingers. Yeah. How did that happen? Being a single mother by choice, I've met a lot of women that, that have the same story. So for me, it was, I believed that it would be there. And I thought, I'll find the guy, we'll have the white picket fence, it's there. But right now I'm on my career path. And unfortunately, it was like, well, wow, life just fast forward. It's now I'm 42. Is it even a possibility? Deirdre decided to pursue motherhood on her own using IVF. A person that I had worked with in a previous life, and he said, are you doing the right thing for the child by having a child on your own? I'm like, what do you mean by that? And so what did you say? This kid is going to be loved greater than any other child in the world, full stop, end of story. Oh my God. Her own eggs not viable. Deirdre turned to donor eggs. Ten days after her IVF procedure, Deirdre gets the phone call she's been waiting for. Uh, congratulations. Oh, my you gosh. Are, you are pregnant. <laughs> you are very pregnant. Your level looks great. You have made my life. I <laughs> hope the news continues. I know it's very early. I felt like a unicorn. I literally was like, I can't, this is so surreal. Whose belly is Deirdre this? gave birth to her daughter in October 2018. Naming her Kelsey, which means brave. We first got to meet her when she was six months old. Do you want to say hi to Juju? Here she is. Today, Kelsey is three. Well, my life is pretty grand. We are living our best lives in every possible way. This journey and my life today was so worth every penny I spent, every bit of time I spent in those doctor's offices. Um, and, you know, anything that I put my body through, I would do it again, 100%, hands down. Determined to preserve her chance at motherhood, Lolo awaited the results of her procedure. So with Lolo, how many eggs were you able to retrieve? 27. It's a lot. It, she did fantastic. Of the 27 that we had, 17 were mature. So 17 would have been able, will be able to be fertilized once they're thawed. And, and present her the potential for growing an embryo that can be a baby. She's an Olympian in just about every sense of the word. But even with 17 eggs on ice, the realization that the road ahead may still be long. This is the thing about egg freezing that people should know. It is not a guarantee to have a kid. But for now, she has more time to find the man of her dreams. It is hard to find a good looking, funny, vibes chemistry wise then add oh but i also want you to love jesus and go to church like where is the unicorn you've been very public about maintaining your virginity yes is that people hate that and so but ultimately no regrets uh, what do you mean no regrets are you kidding me like i'm sitting here and i have nobody <laughs> <laughs> no there's times for sure where it's really hard but i just feel like those are my convictions you know I'm a strong Christian, and that's the gift I want to give to my husband. We were three-time national champion. Lolo is stopping at freezing her eggs, still holding out hope that she'll find her soulmate. There's hope. There really is hope. Like, stop hiding out in your house, crying in the fetal position, because I've done it. <laughs> there is hope. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.